Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to introduce you to a very cool demonstration. Uh, what I'm going to show you, this is just nothing to do with finance, but this is the power of Simulink. Um, as it is, uh, I've shown another uh, demo of this a while ago. And uh, let me just get back to where I want. So basically this, this simulation is Simulink. Um, aircraft is launched in outer space. The anomaly or fault occurs during the launch. The operation is aborted and the af aircraft is sent back to Earth. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just playing around. But what the hell, right? Um, launch abort controller site chart is used to control the mode logic and launch abort behavior, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so if you ever want to come in and just look for um, Simulink examples, this is one of the cooler ones I've seen. To launch this one, you just type in SF underscore launch abort, which will load in this and this. Now, uh, just so people know, um, if you ever wanted to do virtual reality in MATLAB with Simulink and uh, uh, have some kind of graphical representation, in this case, we're given a launch site view, a runway view, a DRL view, uh, or sorry, runway pilot view, uh, a chase plane, we just showed you fellow plane, uh, cockpit view, and uh, observer looking up. Why don't we just run uh, various ones at the same time? So I'm going to maximize this. I'll put this into uh, launch site. I'm going to restart my simulation here. And off she goes. So maybe we can see the pilot view. Here we are, pilot view, yay. Um, it gets pretty crazy uh, when you can, uh, I have no idea if you see what I'm saying. Uh, oh, so something's happening. I think I'm going to die. Um, and something does happen eventually. Uh, well. Let's see what other kind of views we got. Runway we don't care about. DLR runway we don't care about. But uh, let's call it a chase plane. So something's happening here. Uh, I guess we are losing our fuselage and all that. We're going to die at some point. And, uh, you know, we got a fellow plane. We have uh, a cockpit view. And again, you can control all these views like you do in some other simulators that I've seen. And uh, I guess that's our trail of uh, FIA, or whatever the term is, sorry. Um, but goddamn, you gotta admit, this is pretty cool. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> But uh, I wish I was drinking some beer right now. So if we want to look up, that's what it would look like. Um, see what our chase plane is doing, or pilot view. I'm telling you, man, this is pretty cool. Um, not sure if we can zoom in. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I am. Um, this is how you can make. Uh, I have no idea how they did this. <laughs> But um, it's pretty cool. Now, I, I, I guess we have here the examine view. Uh, you can record. Uh, so let me just see what we got here. So um, stop my simulation. And uh, let's uh, check out this view. I guess walk view. So off she goes. Whee! Uh, observer, there goes the launch pad, so, uh, friggin' amazing, um, for, for, for a piece of software like this. Now, the next question is, can I generate code from it? If I can do that, that'd be pretty cool. Um, well, 
And why not have any more happy fun generating C code? It just gets crazier. So, of course, we're not going to get all the graphical representations. Be nice. But, uh, yeah, I've shown you this before. All the standard targets and Visual Studio compiler. We generated code. There she is. All our CPP stuff. C++. Comments included, usual, which I like to see. Um, launch a board. I'm just going to get numbers here and results, but um, I'll tell you some, man. That's pretty awesome. Um, and it's efficient code. Uh, hopefully, it just shows you some of the power of what MATLAB with Simulink can do with even virtual reality. That's crazy, man. So you now are with no limitations of any kind to be able to generate machine learning stuff around this with some cool graphical uh, representation as I said and visual visualizations pretty incredible with this uh, uh, Simulink we call it VR sync I've never seen it before I just thought I'd show it to you just to try to be cool <laughs> let me know what you think talk to you later